New controversy over the Lifetime show Dance Moms. Little girls told to make the audience think that they are nude. The idea with the fan dance is that you cover your body with the fans. So you give the illusion that you're nude underneath the fans. You lost the flame. I'm listening to the audience hoot and holler at my 10-year-old, and I have never been so mortified. A reality show that makes little girls as young as eight years of age dance nearly naked in front of adults. Is it primetime pedophilia or just harmless fun? Hmm, you can decide. The latest episode of Dance Moms on Lifetime had young contestants dress in skin-colored bikinis and dance a full burlesque routine. What is this, the Follies Bergere? It was sexually explicit material performed by grade school girls. Look. <laughs> It's like being at the Moulin Rouge. And it wasn't just the costumes that were provocative. The girls were specifically told that the whole point of the dance was to look like they were naked. Listen to their instructor, Abby Lee Miller, from Lifetime and E! News. The idea with the fan dance is that you cover your body with the fans. So you give the illusion that you're nude underneath the fans. You're going to be showgirls. The audience should think that you are nude. What? Is this too sexy, too young? Call me, 1877JVM says. 1877 Want to hear from you, moms. Straight out to Amber Goodhand from Radar Online. Amber, now we found out that Lifetime pulled all the clips of this show from its website. Do you think they're trying to bury the episode and pretend it never happened? Well, there's no way they're going to be able to forget it ever happened. It already aired this week. And I think Lifetime got exactly what they wanted. It stirred up a lot of controversy. It's got everyone talking. You've got people on your show tonight talking about it. And that's what Abby Lee Miller wanted when she put the dance together. And that's what the show wanted when they aired it. So there's no reason why they needed to pull the clips. You know, there's still shots out there. There's video clips all over YouTube. It's not going away. You're right. We live in an upside down world where it's just like spell my name right or spell my show's name right. And it really doesn't matter what you're saying as long as people are talking about you, good or bad. Believe it or not, the moms were actually divided over whether this routine was appropriate or not. Watch this from Lifetime. Mackenzie struts across the stage. She owned this dance. I'm listening to the audience hoot and holler at my 10-year-old, and I have never been so mortified. All right, but those weren't the only opinions. Chloe's mom, Christy, said no one ever wants to hear the word nude associated with their 10-year-old. Um, but then I, I heard that another mom said something like, my daughter owned the stage. Uh, I want to go to mommy blogger Jessica Gottlieb, your parenting expert. What say you? Is this damaging these kids psychologically? This is a train wreck of epic proportions. I, one of the clips that you didn't get on here is really interesting, and it's where she's showing them how to use the feathers and saying, you can't afford me. Um, backing up to your last story, it, it's... Sending little girls the message that their entire value lays in their sexuality is really, really scary. And these mothers should be mortified. They should be embarrassed every week, not just this week. Well, honestly, this has to be seen to believe. Uh, take a look at more baby burlesque routines from Lifetime's Dance Bomb. You decide. We've got callers lining up. I feel the sun on my skin the spring has sprung new day begins when at my heels I'm carried away I'll cost 
costumes were just stunning on the girls. So I think that my moms are going to keep their mouths shut about costumes from now on. That dance teacher, Abby Lee Miller, has come out of fire for telling the girls that they should think I'm hot. I mean, you can't have me. You can't afford me. This is exactly what Mom Blogger was referring to. Uh, Melanie Snare, I hate to go on a limb, but uh, it's more than equating girls with their value monetarily. Is this crossing some kind of whew, very serious line here? Oh, I think it's completely way across the line. It, as a mom looking at these children out there and the message that the teacher and the parents are putting out to their children and everyone else that's watching, I hold the parents just as responsible because there's plenty of dance studios out there where their kids could be performing beautiful, amazing dance routines without all of this drama and without all of this sexuality that is just completely inappropriate for the age. It's it blows my mind that it's even that you would tell a 10 year old that we're going to do a dance that you're implying that you're nude. Why do they need to do that to show how talented they are? They do not. Ju Judy, Alabama, your question or thought, Judy? Well, I feel that dance moms and toddlers and tiaras should not be on standard TV. So the clothing and the routines that these children project are on the verge of becoming R rated <clears throat> pornography shows. I do not like them. I do not support them. They should not be on TV. Well, listen, I agree that this could be very damaging, but I have to uh, give you my personal take on this story because my mother was a dancer. You might call her a former showgirl. She's 96 years old, and if you're watching, and I know you are, Mom. Hi, Mom. But when she was a lot younger, she had some very uh, sexy dance numbers. There she is with her dance troupe. And they traveled all over the Caribbean and Canada. And they did uh, a lot of flamenco, but also some burlesque routines. And I got to tell you, uh, I'll go back to Jessica Gottlieb. When I was a little kid, my mother volunteered at the school. And yes, she played the Palace Theater, which was the ultimate vaudeville uh, venue at the time. She was the last of the vaudevilles. She got in trouble for choreographing dance routines at my school that were too sexy. But she didn't know she was doing it because she, that, her context was her world of dance, and she had no idea that what she was choreographing for her kids was too sexy. And I remember this when I was a little kid. My mom's probably chuckling if she's watching. <laughs> um, your thoughts? Well, first of all, God bless your mom. You know, we <laughs> all should have spent our 20s a little more naked. But <laughs> the thing is, the, you know, these are little kids. This is, the parents are, are, are watching these, um, the rehearsals. No mother in her right mind is gonna watch their daughter be taught to be seductive, be taught burlesque, and not walk out the door. There's a real failure here for people to protect these kids. Further, putting it on TV, I was really uncomfortable watching those clips. I don't wanna see, a little girl's bottom the way you would see in NFL cheerleaders. It's really, we have these boundaries in place and we have these social norms to protect kids, but also to protect like the comfort of adults. If, a, if a, somebody had this on their computer when they were being arrested for inappropriate actions, it would be used as evidence. And, and, and so putting your kids in this position on purpose, it's its an absolute failure I, in I parenting. I think you're, you're and dancing around, pun intended, dancing around something, and that <laughs> is that pedophiles are going to be looking at this stuff and becoming aroused by it, and that is, I think, what's really disturbing about it. I want to go to Karen from Celez Buzz. You've been uh, all over the story. What is your take? My take is watching this honestly feels like the beginning of a Law & Order SCU episode. I mean, it just looks pretty inappropriate to me but the thing is is last week this it hit the, a serious high for dance moms so you know maybe part of the problem's us and everybody who's actually tuning into this well i think you raise a good question our societal hypocrisy that we condemn but we watch somebody's watching it they're getting huge monster ratings colleen pennsylvania your question or thought colleen Yes, I, I think it's a complete epic fail on uh, parental guidance uh, in general. Um, I don't condone it, uh, although, you know what, Jane, consider the source. Look at the teacher. Look at the parents. I mean, have you watched any of the upper, uh, other episodes of this uh, particular? This should not even be televised. 
it, it, it goes more way beyond the dance and the costumes. It's how the adults are acting in front of the children. And if there's anything that's going to be psychologically wrong with these well, children, to me, it's how they're the being bottom treated. line is turning kids into products, living through your kids, uh, putting your kids out there to fulfill all your unfulfilled fantasies. Mom, moms out there, if you want to do burlesque, then you get a burlesque outfit and you do it yourself. Don't uh, channel all your unfulfilled fantasies into your daughters, okay? They don't need that. Let them make their own choices and their own decisions. Maybe they want to play tennis.